All right, we're going to be calling Desiree from South Glens Falls. She's 21, and she is uh, she submitted on behalf of L Lorena, who's a coworker and a really good friend. Lorena and her family deserve the Nintendo Wii because her and her family do so much for others. Despite this hard time that we're all going through, her husband was recently let go from his job. They have a 14-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son, both who want a good Christmas. But Lorena and her husband have no idea how they're going to make that happen. She's a very hard worker. Our job is demanding. She works long hours due to the fact that her mother is not doing so well health-wise and doesn't have much time left. Lorena travels over an hour one way to go see her mother as much as possible while still working at least 50 hours a week. Lorena always looks out for everybody around her, including me. When I didn't have a car, she would make the drive out and pick me up every morning and then bring me home every night. She's a caring person, and she deserves to give her kids something nice for Christmas. She's worked very hard, but doesn't see it happening. They're a close family, and Nintendo we would bring joy to the children, and I know that the whole family would be overjoyed. So, hardworking woman whose husband lost her job and whose two children want the Wii, 14 year old and a 10 year old. So we're calling Desiree right now to tell her that she is going to be a secret Wii and heir. Nice, let's do it. Excited. Thank you for calling Tribune Media Services. Please listen carefully. Our menu options have changed. I'm sure I got this wrong. Is <laughs> you work at Tyler like that? Hello, this is Desiree. Hello? Hi, Desiree. It's Brian, Chrissy, and Jim from Fly92. Hi. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. You um, submitted to be a secret we and air on behalf of uh, one of your friends, right? I did. What, how do you say her name? Is it Lorena or Lorena? It's Lorena, yeah. And Lorena is a co-worker of yours and somebody who's fallen on some difficult times? Yes. And is she somebody who, what, you've, you've turned to when you needed something and she's always come through for you? Exactly. Like when I didn't have my car for a couple months, she came and picked me up every day and brought me home every night. And she just cares a lot about other people. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about her kids. Her daughter is 14 years old, and her son is 10. I've only met them a few times, but they're really good kids, and they do really good in school, and they're just, you know, they want a good Christmas. They keep asking for this and that, and she's like, I don't even know how I'm going to make this work, and she just feels awful about, you know, not having stuff for her kids. Well, you are going to be able to help that. Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe this. You're going to look like a hero on Monday, Desiree, I'll oh tell you that. <laughs> Make sure you wear like a Santa hat or something. Santa. Yeah, wear, if you have an ugly Christmas sweater, <laughs> please wear that on two of them. No, I don't have any Christmas sweaters. I wish I that this morning. <laughs> you heard that segment this morning? <laughs> well, find one. Find Ask one. your mom Someone or your grandmother. Desiree? Yeah? Love you. Congratulations. Oh We're going to come see you on Monday, okay? You're our secret we in there. Hey, uh, Brian, Christine, and Jim, and uh, we are heading up the Northway now to deliver a Nintendo Wii. Are you guys excited? Yes. yes. It's going to be fun. We're going to do our secret Wii in air. This is our first one, and uh, we're just a few minutes away from checking this place out and hopefully making somebody's dream come true. The woman who we're delivering the Wii to has no idea. In fact, today's supposed to be her day off, so they brought her into work. And according to one of her coworkers, she thinks that something not so good is going to happen today. So she's probably in with her boss right now behind closed doors, completely unsuspecting what's going to happen. So I hope she doesn't like tell everybody to F off and not quit this bitch be <laughs> before we have a chance to give her the weed. But we're looking forward to surprising her and we're going to be at her place of work in about 30 minutes. So we'll keep you posted. The person that we're going to go meet is Desiree. She wrote in on behalf of her friend and co-worker Lorena. Lorena has no idea why we're here or that we're here, but we're going to surprise her with a Nintendo Wii. Hi, awesome. Is Lorena here? Yeah. Who's Lorena? Oh, Lorena. Oh, hi. 
I'm Brian Cody. This is Chris Cavana and Jim Clark from Flying Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, today's supposed to be your day off, right? Yeah, it is. Morning. You didn't get fired yeah. today, did you? Morning. Not that I know. Okay, good. So That's you didn't all right. see I quit this bitch, did you? <laughs> no, I did No, I'm part of my interpretation. Um, we're here because um, Desiree wrote into our show um, for you, and I, I'd like to read, if I could, the letter that she wrote to the radio okay. station on your behalf. Um, why don't you take a seat? Relax. Yeah. Um, Desiree wrote and, uh, on your behalf, and she said that um, you and your family do so much for so many people, despite some of the hard times that everybody's going through. She wrote that your husband was recently let go from his job, and that you have a 14-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son who both want a good Christmas. Um, but Lorena and her husband have no idea how they're going to make that happen. She's a very hard worker. Uh, as our job is quite demanding, she works very long hours due to the fact that her mother is not doing so well health-wise and doesn't have much time left. Lorena travels over an hour uh, one way um, to see her mother as much as possible while still working at least 45 or 50 hours a week. Make sure the boss Only is last week. taking no <laughs> <laughs> 50 hours a week. Last week, yeah. 65 hours a week. <laughs> she says, uh, Lorena always looks out for everyone around her, including me. When I didn't have a car, she would make the drive out and pick me up every morning and bring me home every night. She's such a caring person, and she deserves to give her kids something nice this Christmas. Um, she's worked very hard, but just doesn't see it happening right now. They're a very close family, and this gift would bring absolute joy to her children, and I know that the whole family would be overjoyed with this kind of a present under the tree. The present um, for your family, on behalf of your coworker Desiree, is a Nintendo Wii. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. Amazing. <laughs> so how did you get everybody here? <laughs> Congratulations. Were you like completely surprised when we barged into the meeting room today? Totally surprised, overwhelmed, shocked. <laughs> now you weren't even supposed to be in work today. Today was your day off. What did they do to get you inside here? I complained about coming in and they said my family would like it. I really had to be here. I had to be part of this meeting. Nay. So I came. Well, your coworker um, Desiree wrote a really nice letter about you. Do, you. do you mind just talking with us for a couple of minutes about some of the hardships that have, has gone on with the family? I don't want to get it too emotional, but we definitely are we're curious as to what's going on in okay. your world. Well, my mom's been ill. That's probably one of the things that take up, takes up a lot of my time. So I work here and um, have to work at least 40 hours to get the job done. So to go see my mom during the day, I take, you know, two, three hours, and then I have to work into the night. I have a 16-year-old and a 12-year-old, and so they suffer a little. So the weekends are all about them, and I still am going to see my mom then. And uh, so my husband, yeah, my husband just recently, last week, was told that was his last day of work, right before Christmas. So, wow. you know, yeah. Well, I mean, this is only a small thing. I mean, it's not going to necessarily save Christmas, but it sounds like this is something that will really help out, and the kids will be really excited, huh? Yeah, the kids will be very excited because they know that this Christmas is not going to be the same as other ones. What do you want to say to uh, your coworker and friend, Desiree, who we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her? <laughs> oh, my God, Desiree. <laughs> Thank you. It's amazing. But I know that she would just die in the same situation because she's actually a quiet person who doesn't like a lot of attention too. So thank you so much. Well, it looks like you're gonna have to up the ante that ten dollar Dunkin' Donuts gift card. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to up that a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah, I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> I <got it. laughs> Lorena, congratulations, Merry Christmas. Well, thank you so much. Yay. I love you guys. Woo!